Before starting our today's session, let us discuss some things. As a human beings, we all know how to perform our day-to-day -day activities and how to react in certain situations, isn't it? For example, when we feel hungry, we eat. When we get tired of walking, we sit down. When we touch something extremely hot, we immediately remove our hand. Have you ever thought, how do we know, what to do in these situations? It is the brain that gives us the instructions to act and react in this manner. Similarly, a computer gets all the instructions from the software to perform various tasks. The software is the soul of the computer, without which it cannot work. So, our today's session is all about software and its types. It is class, 5 computer science chapter. Before starting the session, let us recapitulate about previous class. Can you tell me, what is hardware and what is software? Think about it. Hardware is the device that we can touch. Look at the picture. We can touch the mouse, printer, keyboard, and monitor. These are called hardware of a computer. And software is that part of a computer that we cannot touch. For example, Facebook, email, word processor, and YouTube. To run hardware, the software is very important. Now let us learn more about software and its types. A computer is a machine that does not possess any intelligence of its own. A computer without instructions is like a car without an engine. It requires a set of instructions given by a user to work on. These set of instructions are called programs, which are written in the computer languages. A software is a collection of programs that are stored in and run on the computer hardware, and help users to work on the computer. The software is that part of a computer, which cannot be touched or seen. The software is of two types, system software and application software. System software is further divided in three types, operating system, utility software, and language processor. And the types of application software are, general purpose application software, and specific purpose application software. System software. System software is defined as a collection of programs that controls the overall operations and internal working of a computer system. It reads data from the input devices and transfers the processed information to the output devices. Operating System An operating system is needed to operate a computer. It controls the overall activities of a computer. It acts as an interface between the user and the hardware and enables them to work together. When the computer is stitched on, the operating system is the first program that gets loaded in its memory. An operating system works like the principal of your school. The principal has various responsibilities to manage the school, like supervising the students, teachers, and workers, maintaining discipline, setting examination schedule, timetable, curriculum, and attending to parents and visitors, etc. In the same way, an operating system performs various functions to manage the working of a computer. MS-DOS that is, Microsoft Disk Operating System, Windows XP, Windows 7 Windows 8 Unix Linux Mac OS are the examples of some popular OS functions of an operating system. Device Management Input Slash Output An operating system controls the working of all input and output I, o, devices. Memory Management an operating system assigns memory to various programs, whenever required. It also frees the memory when it is not in use. Run software. 
an operating system runs application software like Paint, Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, etc. Processor Management An operating system manages the working of the processor by allocating various jobs to it. File Management An operating system keeps track of information regarding creation, deletion, transfer, copy, and storage of files in an organized way. Security It provides security by means of passwords to prevent misuse of a computer. Now let us learn the types of an operating system. Single user A single user operating system allows only one user to use the computer system, at any given time. Multi-user a multi-user operating system allows multiple users on different computers to access a system at the same time. These computers are connected to the computer through a network. Multitasking Multitasking operating systems allow a user to run more than one application program at the same time. In multitasking, the operating system keeps track of the program you are in and allows you to switch from one program to another, without losing information. Utility Programs Utility software performs specific tasks usually related to managing a computer, its device or its programs. These programs assist in the smooth functioning of the computer system and help it to perform better. Some utilities help you to avoid virus attack, take backup of your data, recover data, etc. Antivirus, backup, disk repair, file management, compression, and network programs are some examples of utility software. Network utility. Network utility checks the network connectivity and configuration of network devices. It also examines the network speed and performance, monitors network traffic from the console. File Manager File Manager utility helps to perform operations on files, such as, viewing, editing, copying, and deleting. Disk Management Disk management utility enables a user to view and manage the disk drives installed in a computer. It can be used to partition drives, format drives, assign drive letters, and much more. Scanning The act of examining the computer system, drives, or files for possible virus or malware attack is known as scanning. Scanning is done by using the antivirus utility. Examples of antivirus software are Quick Heal, Avast, Average, Notum, etc. You can scan the drives, pen drive, and the entire computer system using antivirus software. Backup This is a process of storing a copy of data in another storage device so that it can be recovered and restored in case of damage or loss of the original data file. Data loss is very common and has caused serious problems for many organizations and individuals. Hence, it is essential to have regular data backup from time to time. Compression It is a process that shrinks files so that less disk space is occupied. The files that are bigger in size need to be compressed while sending as an email attachment. Language Processor Each software is created by writing programs in computer programming languages. Some of the popular languages are C, Java, and C++. As we know that a computer can understand only the machine language, which comprises zeros and ones. Therefore programs written in these all programming languages cannot be recognized by a computer. Here, a language processor plays a vital role in translating the programming language into machine language. Interpreter 
an interpreter translates the program line by line, and simultaneously executes the converted line. If any error is found, it displays the error and does not precede until the error is rectified. Compiler A compiler is a translator program that converts the whole program into equivalent machine code in one step. It generates the object code for the program along with the list of errors. Application Software These are sets of programs, developed by programmers in order to perform specific types of jobs. For examples, beautifying the documents, doing calculations, arranging data in an organized manner, making airline or railway reservation system, etc. Computer languages are used to create these types of software. The application software can be further divided into two categories. General Purpose Application Software and Specific Purpose Application Software General Purpose Application Software Packages These softwares can perform many tasks to fulfill the general needs of users. Let us see some of the examples of general purpose application software. Word processor A word processor helps us to create professional looking documents quickly and efficiently. It provides many features to change the appearance of text in the desired manner. You can easily add, delete, rearrange, or beautify the text, and can even produce a hard copy of the document. Examples, Microsoft Word, WordPad, OpenOffice.org Writer, etc. Electronic Spreadsheet A spreadsheet program helps us to perform calculations and display the data in the form of a chart, to analyze it in a better way. It is used for creating a document to manage and organize numerical data. VisiCalc was the first computer spreadsheet program. Examples, Microsoft Excel, Lotus 123, OpenOffice.org, Calc, etc. Database Management System, DBMS. Each one of us use database unknowingly in our daily routine. For example, managing telephone directories, payroll information, etc. Database software helps us to arrange and store a large amount of information in an organized manner. You can easily create, add, find, update, sort, search, print, and retrieve the information stored in the database. Examples, Microsoft Access, OpenOffice, ORG Base, Fox Pro, Oracle, etc. Presentation Software it is used to present an idea or concept in a lively manner. This software helps you to create and display slides on a computer or a projector for business or educational purposes. It lets you create slides, charts, animation, and video clips. Examples, Microsoft PowerPoint, OpenOffice, ORG Impress, Adobe Flash, etc. Desktop Publishing Software This application helps you to combine both text and graphic features to design professional documents, like newsletters, printed forms, advertisements, books, brochures, posters, magazines, etc. Examples, Coral Raw, Adobe InDesign, Quarkspress, etc. Graphic software. It is used to create images, such as, charts, graphs, photographs, logos, cartoons, and much more. Examples, Paint. Photoshop. AutoCAD, Dreamweaver, etc. Multimedia software. It is used to create videos, animation, sound, graphics, and text with high degree of interaction. Example, Game Software Windows Media Player Windows Movie Maker, etc. 
special purpose application software, customized software. The software which are designed to meet the specific needs of any user, are called specific purpose application software. X, Tally and Busy. Such software is also known as customized software. Some of the customized software are, Reservation System, Billing System, Payroll System, etc. Let's recap. The software is a collection of programs that are stored or run on the computer hardware, and help users to work on the computer. The software is of two types, Application Software and System Software. System software is a collection of programs that controls the overall operations and the internal working of a computer system. An operating system controls the overall activities of a computer. Utility programs perform specific tasks related to managing a computer, its devices, or, its programs. A language processor plays a vital role in translating the programming language into machine language. Application software are a set of programs, developed by programmers in order to perform specific types of jobs. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel, and do not forget, to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.